today's watch review, we're talking about the Citizen Promaster Tough model number 0720-54H. Let's get right into it. Starting off with price, you can find this online for around three to four hundred dollars. Let's do a quick 360 so we know what we're working with. There are the pushers and crown case back, nothing too crazy here. And then here's your milled steel clasp and that phenomenal bracelet. For dimensions across the case from the crown to nine o'clock, we are looking at around 47 and a half millimeters and for case depth or thickness, right at around 13 millimeters. For me, 13 millimeters is my sweet spot. I really like that thickness. Some people prefer a little bit thinner, but I think 13 is just fine. For weight, we are looking at 200, okay, 196 grams, or just under seven ounces. Here is the wrist shot. It's got quite a bit of density to it. And you can definitely feel that. I think it really lives up to the tough name. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the average watch goes for around three to four ounces as far as weight goes. So seven ounces, you know, it's, it's heavier than your average watch. Going over some functions of the watch, starting off, we've got three sub dials. The top one is your chronograph. The center one by nine o'clock is your 12, 24 hour Subdial, so I use this to tell me whether it's a.m. or p.m. So you can see that it's past 12 o'clock, so we know that it is in the afternoon. Down at your six o'clock position is your second hand subdial. Going further into the dial, we've got these very bold numbers for the indices, and I actually like that. It might be a little weird. Um, kind of odd on this dial, but because it's a little bit odd looking, maybe that's why I like it. But with those indices, you've got Super Luminova applied to them. So Lume is going to be fantastic here, which I'll show you later. You've also got that date window, but I will tell you it's a little bit hard to see, especially just with the color contrast. I, I kind of always see that it's overshadowed, but not a big deal for me at least. And let's go ahead and take a look at those pushers again. I think it looks real cool, very rugged, almost like a G-Shock with the new modern buttons that they're coming out with. Um, but this one operates your chronograph and then starts and stops it and resets down here. And then you do have this screw down crown, which the quality is just fantastic. It's machined, the texturing all around it really just adds to the overall name of Citizen Tough. And let's just take a second to look at the chronograph working. So you've got that sweeping second hand, which is always just a cool thing. Very beautiful. I love sweeping second hands. And here's the close up just because it's always cool to have a close up. Looking at the bezel, we've got a non-functioning bezel here, guys. So what that means is that it doesn't turn left or right. It is locked in place. It's part of the case and normally I wouldn't care about that. I think what frustrates me the most is the fact that they added these minute markers around the bezel. So, you know, I'm not going to take it personally, but at the same time, it just makes me question whoever designed this, whoever thought that this was a good idea. And finally, for features, this watch has 200 meters of water resistance, a sapphire crystal, and Duratect coating. That coating is the reason why they named this the Citizen Tough. It is scratch resistant and apparently according to their website is five times harder than steel. So this is a watch that can take a beating. Let's take a look at that Super Luminova in a dark room. Beautiful as always. If you know what Citizen watches look like in the dark then it's no surprise here. Fantastic. Here's a closer look at the bracelet. Nothing too crazy as far as the design goes, but overall appearance and fit and finish, I have to say, are fantastic. I don't know what it is about this texturing in the center links, but it really called to me. 
And to be perfectly honest with you, if I was going off of just the design on the case and dial alone, I would not have been interested in this watch. The reason why I bought this watch, the thing that pushed me over the edge, was the bracelet. And I'll tell you what, it's still my favorite thing about the watch. And I almost forgot to mention, like, the number one thing was that it had an eco drive movement, so solar powered, um, charged by the sun. So you're never really going to have to worry about changing out the battery. So now just going over my personal thoughts. So at the end of the day, I really like this watch. It's not perfect. There's obviously some things that I have an issue with. But because of the overall fit and finish and feel, I'm able to look past those significant flaws. I think I made it pretty clear that the biggest issue I had was the non-functioning bezel. And again, the only reason why I have an issue with it is because they have these markers along the bezel indicating that it would be a functioning bezel. And that just seems like an amateur move to make, almost like a cheap, fake, Chinese-made digital watch with those non-functioning bezels. Um, so that's really the only issue that I have. But because the overall quality is so solid, it's just professionally made and, you know, there's nothing flimsy about the case. I'm able to look past this non-functioning bezel. What I really like about it is that the design is very unique for Citizen. Normally, I'm used to Citizen having very elegant and safe designs. But this kind of comes out of left field with the bold numbers on the dial mixed in with you know all these random like sub dials it's kind of just like a hodgepodge it's got a very busy face and a lot of people don't like that you know and i can completely understand why they would not be a fan of this style but because it's so interesting and unique for a normal citizen that's what really caught my eye it's almost like it's unabashedly unashamed of being different and almost like a hot mess here. And going back to that quality, with an overall package that is just super solid and a bracelet that is this clean looking, this is something that you could wear in the office, in business casual, and immediately turn around and go chop a bunch of logs with an ax or you know, do some kind of rough and tough outdoor work and not worry about scratching or damaging this watch at all. You know, frankly, in my opinion, this watch looks just as good clean as it does dirty. And it's rare to find a watch that can handle the, you know, both of those worlds. So to wrap up the review, for overall quality, I highly recommend this watch. It's fantastic, solar powered, tough and reliable. As far as the aesthetics go, if it's your style, then you're going to love the watch. And then obviously if it's not your style, then there's plenty of other tough solar power watches on the market for you. But speaking to the quality, I will say after a year of owning this watch, I am nothing but happy with the Citizen Tough. So that's all I got to say for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I can help you with your next watch purchase. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.